Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I hope you're having a wonderful, if a little bit rainy or snowy night. Mm. It is the last night of Hanukkah, and it is the 17th story in our Advent series. So we're really glad that you're with us. We are. We have a special Advent calendar edition. Debonair Kovacs made this beautiful calendar. And what is today's special ornament? It is a shepherd girl holding a cheap. Holding a cheap. Yay. And where will she live? Where will she live? I think she's going to live right up here. Lovely. Ugh. Can you see her? She's behind my head. There she is. There she is. Well, we've also put another star on our beautiful tree. Diana's mm -hmm. made this beautiful tree behind us. So I hope that your house is feeling warm and cozy and you're ready to settle in for the Hanukkah tree. We have a Christmas tree. This is a story about the residents of Helm. Which is, a, you were saying it's a story that uh, they tell a lot of stories about the residents of they Helm. They do. So Helm is a, is a it was a, a real village, uh -huh. uh, but this is the mythical Helm, oh. which is populated by well-meaning but somewhat foolish people. And so there are many, many fun and wonderful stories about <laughs> the notorious fools of Helm. And the tricks that were played on them, or the silly things that they did well, in uh, in Jewish literature. Well, we're going to read the Hanukkah tree. This <laughs> one is retold by Eric Kimmel, one of my favorite authors. There you go. One Christmas Eve, a peddler drove his wagon down the road. In the back was a beautiful Christmas tree, which he had tried hard to sell all day. Mm. By now it was late in the evening and every home already had its own. The peddler hated to throw such a beautiful tree away, but unless he could sell it, what else could he do? He decided to continue down the road to the town of Helm. The people of Helm were Jewish, he knew, and did not celebrate Christmas. But he also knew something else. The people of Helm were not very clever. Hey, is she talking about me? A tree for sale! A beautiful tree for sale! Trees! Who will buy this beautiful tree? Trees! The peddler cried as he drove into Helm's main square. The people of Helm laughed. <laughs> A tree? We celebrate Hanukkah in this town, not Christmas. What do we want with a Christmas tree? Who said anything about a Christmas tree? The peddler replied. Can't I see menorahs in your windows? That's why I brought you this Hanukkah tree. A Hanukkah tree? The people of Helm had never heard of such a thing. What? They stared at each other and then at the peddler. That's right. The peddler continued. A Hanukkah tree in America. Hanukkah trees are the latest thing. They're the best. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Every Jewish home has one. Oh, what? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really? The people said. <gasps> the news surprised the people of Helm. They never heard of that. They had never heard of a Hanukkah tree. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. But they knew that anything from America must be modern and it must be good. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. With an up-to-date... So what do you do with a Hanukkah tree, they asked. Tell me. Well, what do you do with a Hanukkah tree, the peddler said, mm -hmm. uh, as if surprised to find a town that had never heard of one. Well, first you wind it all around with strings of popcorn and berries, obviously, and then you hang ornaments from its branches, then you decorate it with colored lights, and finally at the very top you put a very big star. Um... That sounds like a Christmas tree, one little boy said. Mm, yeah. Oh, oh, it is, said the peddler, but only better. By the time the peddler finished his speech, right. the people of Helm were sold. Helm, okay. Helm had to have a Hanukkah tree. Mm. That was all there was to it. Yep, it's they good bought, for America. They bought the tree from the peddler, took it off the wagon, and <gasps> set it up in the middle of the town square. The peddler drove off with their money in his pocket, chuckling to himself. <laughs> a Hanukkah tree. <laughs> Only in Helm. <laughs> the people of Helm looked at their tree. Uh, what do we do with it? Pascal the tailor said. 
Remember, the peddler said to wind it all around with strings of popcorn and berries, Mendel the butcher answered. Um, we don't have any popcorn, and we already used the berries to make jam for our potato latkes, Isaac the blacksmith pointed out. Wait, said Udall the mayor. I know! We may not have popcorn and berries, but we do have lots of potato latkes. What else for a Hanukkah tree? Perfect! Everybody ran back home and brought back latkes. They tied them to the tree's branches. I hope they weren't too hot. Mm. Hmm. That looks better, Yudel said. Yeah. But something's still missing. Mm. Mm. I know what it is, said Favel, the town clerk. Mm. Ornaments. The peddler said that in America, they decorate the tree with ornaments. What kind of ornaments? What kind of ornaments, people asked. Who knows, said Favel. But I can't think of better ornaments for a Hanukkah tree than dreidels. Dreidels. We have plenty of dreidels. The people of Chelm thought that was a wonderful idea. They ran home for their dreidels. Wooden dreidels, tin dreidels, clay dreidels. They tied them to the branches of the tree. This is turning into a beautiful tree, Haskell the tailor said. What else did the peddler say we needed? Well, he mentioned something about colored lights, said Isaac. Oh. Lights, said Yudel. That's easy. We have plenty of Hanukkah candles. Let's go home and get them. Mm. They set the candles in the branches okay. of the Hanukkah tree. Soon the whole tree was lit from top to bottom. Is this a tree? Revy, the baker's wife, sighed. I, I can't imagine a better Hanukkah tree than this. Not even in America. But what about the star? Abraham, the school teacher, asked. What? Star? What star? Don't you remember the peddler said to put a big star on the top of the tree? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. The people of Helm remembered. But where could they get a star? Hmm. I know, said the rabbi, fingering his long white beard. The biggest star in town is right over there. He pointed to the heavy oak door of the synagogue and the six-pointed Jewish star that was carved on it. Ooh. A star, the people cried. They quickly took the synagogue door from its hinges, <gasps> the star and all, and they tied it to the top of the Hanukkah tree. <clears throat> now the decorations were finished. The people of Kelm filled the town square as they stood around their tree mm. admiring it. Mm. Imagine a Hanukkah tree. In Helm. Mm. Where do they think of such things? Only in America. Ha! America has nothing on us. That's true. Although it was late, the people of Helm were so proud of their Hanukkah tree that they didn't want to go to bed. They stood in the town square mm -hmm. waiting for a traveler to come by so they could show off their tree. <laughs> Just before midnight, a man driving an automobile came bumping down the road. Even though it was just beginning to snow, the people of Helm ran out to greet him. Happy Hanukkah! Happy Hanukkah! They cried. The man stopped the automobile, rolled down his windows, <laughs> and stared. Before his eyes stood the oddest tree he had ever seen. Potato latkes and dreidels hung from its branches. Dozens of tiny candles gleamed among its needles. Tied to its top was an enormous door? What is it? the man asked. Can't you guess? It's a Hanukkah tree. It's our Hanukkah tree, the people of Helm said with pride. Mm. Hanukkah tree? I never heard of such a thing, said the man. Suspense. It's a new custom, Yudel the mayor explained. It comes from America. All the Jewish people there have Hanukkah trees. Mm. No, they don't, the man cried. I come from America, and I've never heard of a Hanukkah tree. You you haven't? Yudel asked. 
Then how do the people there celebrate Hanukkah? The man laughed Why, the same way Jewish people everywhere celebrate Hanukkah, with potato latkes and dreidels, menorahs, but not with trees. There's no such thing as a Hanukkah tree. The man shook his head, and he drove off. The people of Helm stood in the town square. They were so shocked, they couldn't think of a single word to say. I can't think of a single word to say. They didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. At last, the rabbi spoke. Did you hear what that man said? He said he comes from America. He said he's never heard of a Hanukkah tree. He said there's no such thing as a Hanukkah tree, said Rivi, the baker's wife. She still didn't believe her ears. Favel, the town clerk, scratched his head. But we certainly have a tree. Here it stands in the middle of our town. If it's not a Hanukkah tree, what kind of tree is it? I'll tell you what kind of tree it is, Isaac the blacksmith said bitterly. It's a fool's tree. That peddler was a swindler. He's probably still laughing at us. Mm. The people of Helm listened to Isaac. They were so upset about being tricked that they couldn't bear to look at the tree. <sighs> Disgusted, they turned their backs on it and <clears throat> went home to bed. <laughs> Just before dawn, they woke to the sound of birds singing, and the people of Helm got out of bed and ran to their windows to see what was happening. They never heard so many birds singing at once, not at this time of year, in the dead of winter. A heavy snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything. Mm. But there in the center of town stood the Hanukkah tree with dozens and dozens of birds perched in its branches. More pecked at the ground around its base. The people of Helm ran outside for a better look. Where did all these birds come from? Where had they come from? It was the tree, Favel realized. The synagogue door made a roof to shelter them from the snow. The candles kept them warm, and the potato latkes fed them. The birds flew about the square, chirping and singing. Listen to them, cried Ruby. It sounds as if the birds are all singing, Happy Hanukkah, people of Helm, Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, people of Hanukkah. People, happy Hanukkah, birds, the people of Helm cried. Imagine, the rabbi said, stroking his long beard as he watched the birds fly about the square. A Hanukkah tree in Helm. It must be the only one of its kind. Nobody else has a Hanukkah tree. Mm, mm, mm. Not even in America. So Not even there, no. Mm. The people of Helm were so proud of their tree that they decided to make one every year as a special present for their friends, the Brits. The tree stands in the town square with the big synagogue door and its six-pointed star tied to the top. Its branches are hung with potato latkes and dreidels and lit with Hanukkah candles from top to bottom. Those who have seen it say there is nothing like it anywhere in the world, not even in, in America. America. <laughs> what a great story. Oh, and thanks to so many of you. Oh, we have thought of so many of you over these last weeks. We're so glad we have some more time to tell good stories. Uh, Andrea asked if we would say a special prayer for her nephew who's in Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And of course, we're sending this out to him and yes, to everybody who's sick or not feeling well. And hopefully you can share this story with people who you love and who might need a little extra comfort or a little laugh from the people of Helm or from Errol the Wonder Cat. Or he's, he's our own fool. Or from, or from us. So, Andrea, we're thinking about you. And we're thinking yeah. about our friend Joan, who had a birthday today. So, yes. happy birthday to Joan. And happy birthday to all of you who might be celebrating. So, we have uh, so many new customs, don't we, with the COVID crisis upon us. We're inventing all kinds of ways to celebrate. But like the people of Helm, you know, just because it's never been done before doesn't mean it can't bring joy. Mm -hmm. So... However you are celebrating, I hope you're celebrating safely. Right. You might decide to do it. You year might. after year, it might become a new That's tradition. That's exactly right. You don't know. So, however you celebrate, it's okay if it's new. It's okay if you've never done it before. It's okay if they don't even do it in America. <laughs> Until now.
<laughs> well, let's send ourselves into the night with a good night song, and we're so glad so many of you could watch with us. Good night, good night, beloved mine. Good night, sleep well, my dear. Good night, good night, beloved mine. Good night, sleep well, my dear. May cherubim and seraphim watch over you and hover near. Good night, good night, beloved mine. Good night, sleep well, my dear. Prayers for all of you. Mm. Safe rest and a good night.